Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So we're going to be implementing nested and recursive comments for our blog series right here. But I just want to apologize to anybody that watched from video 66 to 71, not the current one. So if the people are new, so they might not even know about that. But I just want to apologize to you. I was not happy with the result at the end. So I, it was not rigid enough, so it was just kind of fixed at level 3, so I kind of made it more robust, so if someone wanted to change it to a level 4 or level 5, or even level 6 comments, or even infinite, they can do that, alright, so that's what we're going to be doing, so I just want to give you guys a little demo right here, so as you can see, I got a level 1 comment, level 0 actually, because, because in programming come from 0, upwards all right so this is level one this is level two this is level three but i can change this depending because right now i can leave a reply right here because i've set this to be at level four all right so let's quickly leave a reply so level four four comment okay so if i leave a reply right here as you can see the reply button disappear because I kind of uh, set it to be up max level four. So it's one, two, three, four levels, right? So it just kind of give it, makes it more robust. I will quickly show you at the background how that's going to work. But I just wanted to let you know that the views, I will leave a link in the description. So for the views, I'm not going to code the views to kind of make it quite easier for you guys. So there's three views. We have the comments, replies, and the reply. So you guys can obviously just download these into, uh, just download the zip file and just copy them inside your components. I will not, in a second show you where you must paste it in. Okay. So let me just quickly show you the, the basically the structure. Right, so in my ENV file, I can set the max comments like this to four or three level or whatever the case may be. I can set it right here. So in my convict file, the guys that have been following the series, you can see right here in my environment file, I can, I can basically refer to that. All right, so in my comments, uh, let's go to our app models comment model right here we have the replies relations but we created two trades as commentable and has replies so all this kind of work we will have to do so coming in this the next couple of episodes so look out for that but if you download the zip file all right paste them inside your component folder create a folder called post and you paste those three in there like this okay so you obviously already have the post in there with the latest replies okay just paste it these three with that latest replies in there okay all right so this is what it's supposed to look like right now you will have a comments one all right you will have a latest and you will have the replies and you will have a reply so all these ones right here we're going to go and discuss them more in detail in the coming episodes because there's some things i've done in here that i need to explain to you guys but we're going to get to that when we get there all right so let me just do this just copy them paste them in here with your latest replies okay so that's the kind of intro to the series okay what we will do in the next episode is we're going to set up our model this one right here app models the comment model we will set up this one we will delete some of the other ones that we don't need but we're going to set up the uh, model so if you're following on the on the 66 to 7 video you will kind of see the same things you don't need to delete everything there's just a couple of things that we need to add right there okay so we're just going to set up this model with the migrations file we're going to do that in the next episode. So see you guys there. Like the video if you like it. Leave a dislike if you dislike it. And leave a comment, feedback, or suggestions for me in the comment section. And I'll gladly help you guys out there. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Adios.